Hey guys, and welcome to this video from my Dusseldorf hotel room. So in this video, I wanna share with you three games you can play next time you're feeling socially anxious. These are games that give me a bit of a confidence boost. They take me out of my comfort zone and they just help me reset back to a more normal state. So if you're like me, social anxiety kind of comes and goes. Sometimes I'm feeling absolutely fine. I'm confident, no problems at all. And then other times I'm really in my head. I don't know what to say. I don't know where to look and I just feel burdened. That is where these games come in. So they are great. They're like go-to tools to help you break out of those unexpected moments of anxiety. So the first game you can play is something I like to call eye contact chicken. So if you're familiar with the game chicken, it's basically when two cars drive full speed at each other and it's a test to see which car will swerve out of the way first, right? Who is gonna buckle under the pressure first? Who is the chicken? Eye contact chicken is when you're going about your daily life and you make eye contact with someone. The game is to hold that eye contact one second longer than the other person. Now, this may seem really easy, but if you do have this feeling of social anxiety, even holding eye contact for a few seconds can be a real challenge. Now, what happens when you do hold the eye contact longer than the other person is that you can count that as a victory. And then you keep track in your head, maybe you won that one, maybe you lose the next one, and then you win the next three, right? You keep track in your head. And what you'll find is that over time, these feelings of anxiety, they disappear because you're no longer focused on that. Instead, you're focused on playing this game. You're focusing on the game. You're not focusing on the fear. Now, obviously, don't overdo this. You don't want to be staring at people, but I think you'll be able to find that kind of natural balance point where you're just walking down the street, you make eye contact, they look away, you look away, nice and natural. Now, while we're on the topic of eye contact, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're talking to someone and you're not entirely sure where to look, you're, you're nervous about it, I would suggest you just pick one eye, focus in on one eye and look there when you're talking to someone. It's way less daunting if you have a single place to focus. And for the other person, they won't know if you're looking at one eye or both eyes. So it's a little hack for you. Now, again, you don't want to be staring, right? So you still have a normal conversation. And if they look away, you look away, right? You keep it natural. But if you are worried or you're not sure where to look, focusing on one eye can be really helpful. The second game to play is called the Good Morning Challenge. So there was a period of time when I was living in New Zealand and I was very, very socially anxious. There were a few months where I was very, very nervous. I was in my head. It was just very uncomfortable. But the thing that helped me break out of this was just on my way to work each morning, every person I walked past, I would just say good morning to them and I'd keep walking. I wasn't trying to get anything out of the conversation. I wasn't trying to start a conversation. I was purely just passing on a bit of positive energy on my way to work. It's almost like you're kind of having these mini conversations. And then what you'll find is that when you get to work, it's way less daunting to actually start normal conversations because you've already had some on the way to work. It's really simple, it's low pressure, and it was really, really helpful for me. It just reminds me that conversations are not a big deal. Nothing bad is gonna happen if I do interact with someone. So yeah, it's just, it's just refreshing. And the third game I like to play is just to slow down. So if you're like me and you get these feelings of social anxiety, you will start reacting and you'll start speaking very, very quickly. And this is uncomfortable for you, but it's also uncomfortable for the person you're talking to as well. So the game is just to slow down, right? It's to breathe, it's to really listen to what the other person is saying, think about how you're gonna respond, take a few seconds and then respond back to them. Now, this game can be a real challenge for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's just to be conscious about this, to actually remember to do this when you are in the situations, that's hard. And secondly, it can feel like you're speaking way too slowly. But what I found is that actually when you do have this feeling of social anxiety and you do slow things down, you're actually gonna be speaking at a more natural pace. But the best thing about all of this is that if you do slow down, you do take your time and then respond, it almost instantly resets you back to a normal state. So I can be feeling really, really socially anxious. Someone says something and then I take some time, I breathe and I respond and literally instantly I'm back to my normal state again. It's a really, really powerful tool. So I would recommend you try this one out. So there we go, guys. 
those were three games that you can play next time you're feeling socially anxious to help you reset back to more of a normal state, give you a bit more confidence. Now, if you follow the channel, you'll know that I haven't posted for a few weeks, and that's because I've actually been away for my wedding and for a mini honeymoon as well. But I'm back now and I'm gonna be posting more regularly again. So looking forward to that. And with that being said, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure and I will see you in the next video.